Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, of course. It was so nice meeting you. What an idiot. Before we dive into the video, I just want to tell you all that I have a brand new plush. It is Little Empire's Chromia Scott. And not only that, he comes with his very own Llama Owen. You can get these pair by clicking into the description link below, going to the website and buying them now. It is all pre-order, so once we hit the 200 order make, they will be guaranteed to be made and you will be getting one sent to you when the process is done. All the information on the specifics of the plush will be on the website, so please make sure to read it when you're making your order. These are super cool. I'm so happy with it. I'm going to add it to my collection, which then can sit alongside my Empire. Empire's Jimmy one that I have. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Witchcraft SMP. So last episode, we managed to get ourselves our first sort of staff inspector. We also managed to get given a broom from, I can only imagine, like the witch gods of some sort. I think I sort of leveled up and then was given the broom. At least that's what I'm telling myself. That or there's someone on the other side looking out for me which I hope there is. But the plan for today is to explore because there is a lot of magic out in the world and a lot of magic I want to get. So we're going to go explore, see what we can find and maybe loot some things and then come home with said goodies. Because I know there's some stuff I can get from Agatha back at the tower, but there's some stuff out in the world that I could get that Agatha doesn't sell. And what I'm thinking last episode, we met one of the other witches so, and she seemed to specialize in a different type of magic than I do. In going based off of the towers, I can only assume everyone specializes in a different type of magic. So if I get something that I maybe can't use, I may be able to use it as a bargaining chip for one of the other witches to get something I can use. But the only cards you have to play are the ones you have in your hand, so best get out looking for more cards. Whoa, this purple forest is pretty. Whoa, what is that? Is someone's house? No, that's definitely not someone's house because there are a ton of mobs. Oh my goodness, there are so many. Luckily for me, I don't need to worry about the skeletons. Right. Whoa. Hello. I don't know if I need more emerald pickaxes. I'm going to take them. Okay. Not much in here. Some iron. What about... Ah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Get them, boys. No, you've gone for the wrong ones. You have 100% gone for the wrong ones. Ow. Okay, they're actually kind of scary. Whoa. We're going to sit up here and eat a little bit. And then I actually munch on a golden apple. You know, as a witch, I tend to fight smarter rather than harder. And if that means clearing some of this from my broom, I'll do it. Don't walk away from me. Now, they all have pickaxes, which is odd. I just need to be careful not to hit the zombies. Because the zombies won't instinctively come for me, but if I hit them, they're going to get mad. I can't wait till I get a stronger spell. But I need to make this one work, so... Okay, okay, okay. We cleared this level. Ooh, wasting. I don't know what that is, but I'm intrigued. There's just so much iron. I'm not even going to take the ores. Being able to just, like, chill with you all is such a good, a nice thing. I enjoy not having you all try to murder me. You do look like you could potentially drop a cool pickaxe, but like I don't want to... I'm I'm chill. I'm chill with y'all. I don't want to ruin that. Down here though? Down here we're chill. Not gonna lie, did think we would get like... Ooh. I did think we'd maybe find more magic stuff. Ooh. Ah. Boys. Thank you. Ooh, more diamonds. Another golden apple. I'm just gonna eat that now. The advantage I have is if at any point I feel like, oh no, I'm about to die, I can just teleport home. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I do to you? We're going in the water. We're jumping down. Oh, the drowned. Okay, you count as different. So you're all mad at me. I'm going to not fight you all. I think we maybe have a scope of the rest of this place from the air. And see if there's anything else I think we need to have a look in. Because we kind of cleared the majority of it. Not much in there. Not much in there. Okay. Oh, there's a chest on this. Whoa. Spike. Don't want to curse a vanishing. I'll take more iron and more coal. 
Another iridescent orb, which is always good. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's keep adventuring. It's basically anything that could have a chest, because that's where they keep their books. And the spells are the main thing I'm looking for here. The diamonds and such are just a fun extra. Kind of peaceful just flying at night in my broom. The wind through my hair. The peace. The quiet. Makes me hope all of this is worth it. But we're going to need to go home soon because I'm running out of space. What's this? Like the ruins of a village? Huh. Is there anything here? No. wonder what happened here. So odd. I just got an achievement for find a Typhon. And I'm not sure what that means. Is that what this thing is? Is this meant to be like the fossil of a monster? Or was something this big that used to live? Ugh. I'm also gonna have a little fly up to these little cloud things because I've never been up here. What do you get from here? Iron nuggets? They're just like clouds with iron in them. How odd. Oh, there's like a raft over here and a ship. Let me have a look at the like remains of this first. Not a lot. But what about the ship? There's a lot of bad guys on here and I'm out of glowstones. So we're gonna have to hit them with the soul stuff. Okay. Oh. We're dead. They're just more skulls. And like feather falling three bits, which I'll take, but. Ooh. You two are scarier. Okay, there's a thing that seems to spawn you. Down here. Maybe we just do a little light bit of arson. Okay, come over here. See, you have to work smarter, guys, not harder. Y'all are doing too much. Oh, honeycomb. End fish. This was kind of a dud. This was not worth pillaging your entire ship. I mean, maybe for this, the TNT. Not sure what I'm going to use it for, but I guess I might go home and drop off some stuff. Let's empty out my inventory of everything I have that I don't need, and then we can go out in a different direction. Okay, that is everything done. I want to quickly grab some berries, because I want to go and buy some glowstone from Agatha. Because my netherite wand has run out of ammo, which means I need to trade Bertha some berries. And then I want to just have a little fly up here to see Agatha. Hi. Okay. Plus you have an end wand. Hmm. Then shadow and dark ball. Okay, let me just get the glowstone for now. I'll take a stack. And then let's sleep. Now we're gonna go, I think, this way, because we've gone the other way from the spawn. So let's go this way from my house. The issue with necromancy and dark magic is it tends to be a bit more secretive and a lot harder to come by. The few of us who know how to use it tend to keep it under lock and key. That is a really big ruined portal. I wonder if there's a chest. There is. Another iridescent orb and another golden apple, but I'm not bothered about anything else. Whoa. What is that? I'm guessing this is someone's house. Because I don't see any mobs, which means I probably shouldn't loot it. Yeah, this is someone's house. Whoa. Hmm. I'm just wondering what magic spells they have. It's fine. Empowered Slash. I have the first Slash, Minor Heal, the Dazzle, Crush, Rumble, a Water Wand. I bet you this is that Water Witch. Hmm. Interesting. It's impressive, but I'm not scared. What is that thing? Whoa. And then there's another thing over there. This is adorable. Whose house is this? There's a crow. Hmm. Whoever it is, they're kind of poor. But this is sick. If this is someone's house, I don't think that tower is. I know you normally start from the bottom and work your way up, but like, I'm going to start from the top in this one. Hmm. There's nothing. There's literally nothing in here. Yeah. Getting all frazzled. I did notice another one of these towers over this way. I'm going to head over there and see if anyone's found that one. Whoa, there's even like a little purple campsite. Oh, it's not a campsite of goodies. What's in here? What's this? Ah! Ow, 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 ow. Ew, you're so ugly. I hate you. Why are you? What have you done to me? Ow. Obstructed. 
don't know what that means. Mana berries, an ancient scroll, and bread. Huh. I'm actually going to take all of the books. Magical bookshelves? Interesting. I just need the normal bookshelves. Magical is just a bonus. Okay, I have a ton of books. Okay, so there's a bad guy village right here, which I don't know what you like have. Oh, I don't want to get off it. I don't want to get off it. No, thank you. I wanted to just have a little nosy. I'm going to just grab a bunch of this. Don't mind me. And then we're going to fly away. I don't need this or this or even those. Do your tents have entrances? They do. They don't have a lot in them. But they have entrances. I don't think it's worth me sticking my head into like the busier ones. I'm gonna go into this little village and sleep. And then we can also see what it has. Because I imagine it's gonna have a little bit more. More bread, which is great. Um No thank you. Oh another witch. Not the fun type though. And here has nothing. Now, I actually need to know where a village is because I'm pretty sure I can take some of you and give you a new job because there is a crystal table where you would then sell me magic things. You'd become my apprentices. Because right now you're all giving me not a lot. Whoa, there's a lighthouse. This is cool. And I think it's naturally spawning. It's a little like seaside town, which means I can loot it. Whoa, that's a lot of pumpkin pie. What's up here? Not much. I'm wondering if someone else has got here first. I think they probably have. So cool to find, but sadly most of the useful stuff's gone. Whoa, that's a big mushroom. Oh, there's a chest with not a lot in it. There's another chest. Again, not a lot. Okay, let's go. Oh, these guys are not my friends. I never could master out the water ones. Okay, I think we call it there for the exploring and head home. We did pretty well with our haul. We got a bunch of good things. But I do think I'm probably going to have better luck with this. A crystal altar. Let's us give villagers a job who can then sell magical related things. So my thought is if I grab, let's do... Let's do two quarts and we'll grab four pieces of wood. Make ourselves a little altar. And then let's head to one of the villages. Okay, perfect. We're here. Now we just need to find someone who doesn't have a job. Who wants to be magic? So if I come in here, pop this down and then break this, you're going to come and try and get a new job. Okay, what do you sell? Give me lilacs and emeralds. This is all new to me. I don't know what you can get in your trades. So I'm going to like cycle them a few times. I want something I can give you emeralds for. I have more emeralds than I do the other things. Emeralds for rose bushes. Or emeralds for lilacs was the other thing I've seen. Okay, that's just emeralds for both of those. Give me like those. And then those. I'll take another two of those. Now you do, oh, you sell the Book of Lores. And when I right click those, I get new spells. So I just could keep trading with you until I figure out what spells I need. Okay, interesting. For now, I'm going to buy one just to see what spells you know. And I'll buy some of this just to level you up. Now I'm going to go home. So now if I hold this in my offhand and right click this, I got Summon Strider. Okay, it's a different type of book. Do I have any more Book of Lores? I have two. May as well try them and see what we get. Spectral Slash, I already have that. And Dash, I already have that. Dash is the user, similarly to Riptide. And an Energy Slash deals damage in front of all enemies. See, I can, if I can upgrade my Scepter, I can use the Spectral Slash. Okay, so to upgrade my Scepter, I need one of those three gold imbued Lapis. Okay. Which means I need my lapis, a book, and four lilacs. Luckily I have some books, and thanks to the other person I have some lilacs. And then I also need imbued quartz, which is rose bushes, nether quartz, and a glistening melon. Which I think I can make. Quartz, rose bushes, melon, 
And then if I do this and make one of those, there we go. So now I just need to upgrade this. So to make the imbued lapis, I need to do this. I get four imbued lapis and then to make the other imbued one, I do this. Then I get imbued quartz. And then I have to put my staff in the middle with the quartz above and below. This like this. Three gold and the other thing like that. And I get iridescent scepter. And then how do I put on spectral slash? Okay, I need that one. And then a scepter and three iron swords. Citrine. How do I make citrine? Quartz, iron and daffodils. I only have two daffodils. Ugh. Guess we're going looking for some flowers. You know, when I was getting into death magic, flower picking was not what I had in the card of things I'd be spending my afternoon doing. Especially the basic flowers like daffodils. Okay, three swords. I think I have everything I need now. There's a spectral slasher, there's a minimum fear required eight, and this is level eight. So, okay, so I want to make some citrine. Then I want to pop that into the four corners, my staff in the middle swords all around and then the book on top and now I should now be able to go through to a spectral slash which I have here now I need to go find something to test it on and I see the perfect test subject whoa okay so it's closer range but it's like an AoE swipe that's cool so I'd use spectral slash if there's things that are close to me and then I would use soul missile when I'm trying to do things from far away. Okay, I'm figuring this out. There's definitely some other cool magic spells that I want to get for the staff though. So one thing I have started to notice is that a lot of the spells that I'm trying to learn with my staff cost a lot of experience. And while outside I do have access to my little berry bush that gives me some experience bottles like this, it's not a lot, but I think we can make more of the berry bushes. So, if we pop up to our imbuement table, and I think I do like this. Pop these into the corners, and then fill the rest with berry bushes. It would be I'd get three experience seed bushes. The issue is, is I need three levels. Let me just use some. Okay, there's three. Again, I'm going to need more. Can I get three levels with this? I can. Okay, now we have six, which is good. Now, I don't want to place these here because I want these to be a little bit more secret. This is quite a useful, powerful thing to have. And I don't want other witches just finding it. I think it's time I build a secret little dungeon. So I'm going to work on that and then I'll come back to you when I have something to show. Okay, I now have a basement. So, as you can tell, there's no obvious way to the basement, and that's because it's a secret basement. It's only for me. But, if we come over here and we go into this corner and break this piece of carpet, you can see it goes down here. Which leads us to this. Now, right now, it's all sort of compartmentalized, where it goes down in three directions, and the plan is to have different rooms coming off of all of them, as in when I need things. But, round here is where we're going to grow our berry bushes. Now, for now, I've just put, like, this amount. I don't have this many berry bushes, but we will just pop them all along there. And as I get more, I can then fill out the other side as well. I'm just going to use all of this to grow these last two if I can. This is fully formed where they've got like extra berries. So let's see how many experience bottles I get. Because I have none on me. So if I did this, 12. Okay, so it seems you get two maybe? 12 is enough for me to then start thinking about making more upstairs. I mean, hey, now we kind of have like an endless source of experience, which is fantastic. Okay, I am going to grab a few of my different scrolls that I have here and sort of take them with me to spawn to see if there's any witches around that I know if they can maybe use them because they might have something I can use and then we can do a magic trade kind of like a book meet like where like people at book club like swap books around and they recommend it it's like that but with spells let's head to spawn okay. whoa <laughs> hello hello hi you don't have a hat on um, are you a witch oh I am a witch I do have my hat but it's <clears throat> oh, okay. so it's so cumbersome it's too large, it's too big for my head. Oh, okay, um, that's fair. They are quite 
obnoxious, but hi. Yeah. So, who are you and what do you do? I'm Scott. I'm the necromancy witch, so I control the undead. Oh. What about um, you? Why? Well, I'm Zombie Cleo. You can oh. call me Cleo. I hate necromancers so much. Why? Because I'm a zombie and it's kind of uh It's fine. You know, that just means that you shouldn't be able to attack me unless I attack you first. That's how other zombies work. I, I mean that's how it I mean you can't really control me because I'm not really completely here. So uh, I'm 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 the witch of time. Oh. What so can currently you do? I'm I mean I can I can do this. What? Hello? What? Where have you got? Where oh, oh my god. I like uh, to imagine can... that you just froze time, walked over there, unfrozen, and came back. Oh, that's basically it. That's basically what oh, happens. Okay, okay, okay. Powerful and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Hang on. So, if you're a necromancer, mm -hmm. you'd be good at like curses and making wicked spells, right? That's that's. I mean, I've definitely read up on some. I'm focusing more on trying to raise the dead to bring someone back, but I've definitely passed through a few oh. of the curses. Yeah, yeah. No one ever becomes a necromancer because they're stable. If it helps, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, maybe we We've could got the work same, together then. You know, if one of us wins, maybe we can help each other out. In True. The end times. I mean, yeah, um, time magic could definitely help with my issue anyway, so. Yeah, if, if I win, I help you through time. And if you win, you help me through... Necromancy. So what so do you need to know about I've, curses? Why? Well, I've got... Let's call them an enemy. Okay. Already? Is it one of the other witches? You're like the yeah. third one I think I've met. Well, I've met one and they tried to stab me. What? I had one um, like put me in a bubble thing before. A bub? Did you meet the water witch? Yeah. Them. Uh, They're not nice. Yeah, no, to be fair, like I just showed them that I could ring the dead with and then they decided they could have shot my zombie with their bubble thing and said they chose me. Yeah, no, they they tried to stab me. They brought me in. They set their phantoms on me. It was it was not a good oh time. Goodness. So they're, they're just mean. They're just mean. Okay, so um, you want to curse them? I, I want to curse them. Maybe if you can do like, if you can get some poppets and I can just torment mm -hmm. them. Just okay, okay, okay. Well, but we need blood for that. Yeah. And if they don't I mean, like you already, are they not going to notice you go, wait. I don't think they don't like me. I just think they think stabbing people is okay. Wait, I have an idea. Two seconds. Stay right here. Okay? Staying. I remember reading about blood and taglock kits in one of my books. And to do that, I just need... Give me this regen potion. I just need the bottle. Okay, and then give me a bone. I think, yeah, I can make this. Which lets me collect blood but i don't need to just collect blood from the player themselves okay so i have a tag look kit and i remember reading that you can get it from their players if they're around but you can also get it from their beds well from what i figured out they don't sleep <sighs> they like the dark oh. so but surely we can just creep up behind them and just like snaff all like hair and stuff i mean true or, i mean they when... do have a clubhouse that they're they're inviting people to. So oh. maybe Maybe if maybe we get we can... an invite to that, we go to that? Yeah, that seems to work. How am I paying you for this? Because this is a service. I'm not gonna expect it free of charge, even if we're gonna help each other out. I'm assuming you have a friend? Yeah, I mean they trade me they've got give me this spell which lets me become a shadow so I can do this and then just fly around. Oh, that's really creepy. I like that. Well, I've got lots of these. Oh, yeah. I found that Bertha just really loves berries. So I've just been trading an absolute ton of berries, a metric well, um, ton of berries. I've got this many crystals on me. Oh, yeah, that is a lot of crystals, actually. So is there something you particularly want? I mean, I haven't really traded with Frank because Frank is Frank. How about is if you give me a stack of the crystals, I can mm -hmm. then do it and I'll also throw in this. I don't know how to control that stuff. Oh, dispel rain. That's going to be so useful. Okay, no, yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Have, have, have like an entire stack. Oh. Okay, perfect. So <laughs> yeah, we can so work out, fun. yeah, the poppets for the voodoo dolls. There's also curses we can do with the Book of Shadows. Oh, really? Like one of the, I was having a look through and I thought it could be really fun. Because the, the mm. curses only last for a little bit, so it's fine. It's There's one cheating. called Weak Lungs, where it says victims of this curse have a hard time breathing. When underwater, they will immediately start drowning. 
in the water which made a big deal about how she could just be underwater all the time and i oh, wonder i wonder if this will cancel out that ability for a week because i think that could be fun for a week yeah seven days oh that's genius and the thing oh, is they that. don't even know they've been cursed they don't know why it's happening so suddenly they're just gonna be like wait why can't i breathe underwater anymore oh no they're gonna complain so hard yeah. i mean obviously we're gonna have to be there and tell them that you know Maybe their just magic isn't as powerful as they mm -hmm. thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yep. That's I like excellent. It. We wait until we get the clubhouse invitation. We both go mm -hmm. with some tag lock kits. Sneak yeah, up and uh, get them. We only need okay. a couple, I would say, like just to do the extra mm -hmm. curses. So there's It'll one you can, can get, get that means that if you take damage, they take it instead. So, <gasps> okay. Right, well, well, I will... If you find anything about a clubhouse party, or I do, I'll bring you along mm -hmm. as our plus ones, and then we get those tag lock kits, either from her Perfect. or from her bed, if we can find out if she sleeps. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Right. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. See you later. Bye. Okay, that was interesting. Now, I did discover a book with the Book of Shadows, which does a lot of fun things. Now, I haven't actually tapped into it much because I've been focusing on my other stuff, but it may be worth focusing on this if we're going to be seeing about grabbing some blood at this clubhouse. Because I need the blood for poppets, and all of these different poppets are things I can do. I can put it like protection for myself. Some of them I'll use the poppets for me, so it's like if I did the mending one, this will repair armor and held items of whoever it's bound to. Or if I went for the curse one, it protects its owners from curses so people can't curse me. Also, just because I didn't mention it, I do have three people living up here now. I streamed the other day, and now I have villagers living in my house. If you want to make sure you're getting all of the Witch SMP content, make sure to follow me over at twitch.tv slash smajor, so you don't miss out on all of the fun things. So I think for this, what I do need to make at the very start is this. An Athami. Athami? Athami. Grab this, and then do one and two. I can make this which is our little dagger that we use for things. I'm also going to need to make an altar, which means I need bark. And to get the bark, I have to strip a tree. Can I just strip any of you? I can. Oak bark. Perfect. Okay. Stone witch altar, which looks like this. Now, the thing with the witch altars is it does nothing until I put a piece of carpet on it. So I do need to grab that. Just a piece of white carpet would do. And I do that, and it suddenly becomes a witch altar. Now, I need to move this to somewhere where it's got better power, and that's done via being near plants and trees. Like, it was 200 and something inside. If I put it here, 500. Okay. What about this tree? I know this is a tree to do with the mod. 500. Honestly, right next to my house is still the best place so far. Yeah, 563. This is the best spot for this right now. I have no idea why, but it is. So I need to go and make myself a little brazier, and then we can work on some other bits. A brazier and a cauldron are going to be my two best friends. Okay, I've got a brazier. Let me hop down to the mines, grab a little bit more silver, and then we can come back up and make this. Okay, one trip down to the mines. I now have enough silver to do this. So I need one cauldron and another piece of bark. I'm going to make a normal cauldron, and then run back out and strip a tree which I can do with that. Okay, so now I can make a witch cauldron, which is sorted. Now, while we have to wait for our stuff to be done for the curses to get the tag lock kits, there is something else we can do, and it's to do with our iridescent scepter and changing it. So we pop this in here with the skull up here, iron bars in the corner, and then gem dust all around, we get a scepter of summoning. Now this is a powerful scepter, which will then still do our normal abilities, but we can get better spells now. And if I take these books of lore that I managed to find, and I hold this in my offhand and open these, I should get a better chance of getting something related to this. I got fangs, which is what I need. I wanted fangs. Mass heal, doesn't really do what I want. Create sponge, that's a no. Summon crystalline golem. I mean, it's not particularly the undead, but it's still summoning and controlling hordes of things, which is kind of my shtick. But I do want to put the fang spell on. So to do that, I need amethyst shards, emeralds, and a garnet, which I think I have. A garnet, amethyst. They so do the garnet up here, 
this like this. Fangs, I take my scepter. Pop it there and then do three emeralds. Oh, I need level 15. I have a bunch of ball of enchanting. Okay, fangs, which is what I wanted. And now if I change to fangs, and I also have summon zombie. Interesting. So the fang spell is pretty cool because the fang spell does this, which is sick. Now, what did summon zombie do? Oh, hello. Can I only summon one of you? I can, it's on a cooldown. But then I can also summon you two. Oh, no, don't. No, don't fight him. But this is all coming along quite wickedly. So, now that I know how to do curses and such, it may be worth grabbing some blood from other people. You know, just to have in case I need to use it on them. So, I'm actually going to test something by going to Elle's house. Now, if I come in here and find, does she have a bed? She does. Can I tag lock it? I think because I've accidentally right clicked it, it's now set it to mine. I grab three bottles. I mean, this is a tag lock of myself, which is still a handy thing to have because they can make good curses and protections. But I want to grab my athame and then I want to test something. Just because a subject has appeared that can be used. So I need to kill you to see if I get a blood vial. Thank you. I do. Perfect. Okay. I didn't want to have to kill like a villager at a village because that just cause issues. But this works great. Who are you? Oh. <gasps> it's oh. a boy. You're a boy? Man? A boy witch? Yeah. I mean, are you? <gasps> yes. You're the only other boy here that I've met. Oh, I mean, I've only met like two of the other witches. So three. three. Oh, well. It's nice to meet you. My name is Joey, and I am the Fire Frost Witch. Fire Frost Witch? You do yeah. more than one? Well, guess what? I am the proud winner of the first dungeon. So, yes, I've unlocked my second ability. How about yourself? I've only got one of my main abilities, but I can do other things. Oh, really? Like yeah. what? Well, so this I can do this. Oh, don't know why they're di dying. This is not normally. That's embarrassing. I can also do this. Whoa. <laughs> that one's still embarrassing? No, that one's cool. I'm sorry about your friends. Let me put them out of their misery. Oh. <laughs> you having an issue? Well, I don't know why don't they're dying. Die. They never die. There we go. Ow. Oops. Funnily enough, I've actually came across quite a lot of fire spells in my travels. Oh. Have you? Yeah. Like what? Hellfire beam, fireball, scorch. Oh. Well, looks like you ran into the perfect person for something like that. Is there anything you want in return, maybe, that I could exchange for? Hmm. Actually, give me two minutes and I'll go and grab them. We can see what you have. This is how I get myself some blood. Okay, I'm here. Wow, that was literally two seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm quick. Just so happens, I have some inquisitive gems. Ooh, how many? Well, that's for me to know and for you to never find out. You sure? What's in there? Nothing. Mm. Garlic bread? <laughs> Just like, give me. Yeah. Is that what you want instead? Garlic mm. bread? No, 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 no. How much would you say is a fair deal for one of your books? Because your person trades them for like 50 gems, so. For how many? Well, your person will sell some of them for 50, right? Uh, I think they were actually only charging like one. So oh. maybe I could give you one inquisitive gem for all the books. Maybe I give you one book for 10 gems. <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, what do you want? Incombustible, fireball, or hellbeam? I'll do fireball and hellbeam for 20. For 20? Okay, I'll pop them in here. Fireball and hellbeam. Okay. Perfect. There it we was go. Such a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, of course. It was so nice meeting you. What an idiot. I have two vials of his blood. There is so much I can do with this. We're going to have some fun. So now that I have the blood of one of the witches, I can do some fun things. And what would be more fun than, I don't know, maybe the fire mage suddenly catching on fire? Could be quite a fun one. And luckily for me, there is a little curse that does that. So I need to get salt, elder bark, and garlic. And I already have the elder bark here. And I think I should have some salt and some garlic. And then over the cauldron, 
we're going to pop that in here. Throw in some elderbark, garlic, and salt. And now, if I take my bottles, I should be able to grab some cleansing balm. So now, if I take the taglock, the cleansing balm, a belladonna, and a gold ingot, I should be able to curse him. So now, if I take myself a cleansing balm, a belladonna, a gold ingot, and one of the tag locks, I should be able to burn this. And now, our little fire witch should be cursed when this is done. <laughs> so, one of the things that I have here upstairs is a few villagers. Now, I went and collected a few villagers from different spots because I wanted this. The crystal person and then i also got a butcher so that i can trade berry bushes for emeralds and then the farmer was just so i could trade wheat but i have just unlocked the ability to make a copper amulet and a copper ring and it seems to be that when i have them i will get plus three percent speed so six percent speed for those i should be able to buy one amulet and one ring and then you can pop that on there and that on there and I do feel faster. That's interesting. So after doing a little bit more research in my Amethyst book, it turns out jewelry can be quite useful. And on top of that, if I come over here and do this, I can make myself a little copper headband, which will add again another amount of speed to my abilities. So I pop that there. I'm now 9% faster, which is just a great thing to have. But they can also do more things. So I can use these augments here to basically make it attach to a piece of jewellery so they do different things. So like if I did the moonlit one, it means I would gain strength and resistance during the night time. Or if I came over to this side, I could also do the healthy augment, which means I have increased health. And I think these are going to be quite useful. Now I can't actually do almost any of them because they require quite a few trinkets and thingamajigs and bits to do like i would need to get a heart stone but i don't know how to i think i have to find them and it's like i do have quite a few of the moonstones for that one but for the moonlit one i need blaze powder actually i need to make this first which i think we can do okay i've got what i think i need so up here i'm going to make myself some imbued lapis just like this and i'm going to make myself some imbued quartz like this and then if I do like this, and I'll take off my ring and pop it into here. Now we get an imbued ring, which I think currently doesn't do anything apart from it adds a 2.5% chance of blocking attack. So if I get more experience, I should be able to upgrade the other things too. Now we will take ourselves the copper headband and we will pop that in here and pop that back on. Now I can see about doing the moonlit one. So for this, I'm going to need four lanterns, four blaze powder, and four moonstones. If I pop that onto... What can it go onto? It can go onto anything. So maybe we pop this onto just our ring. So I'll take my little ring, pop it in the middle here. Some lanterns in the corners, and blaze powder in between, and then moonstone on the other corners. I should be able to grab this moonlit ring. So now, when it becomes night time, which is soon, I should get stronger. I should get both strength and resistance, which should be a nice little change. Because at the rate I'm going, I am easily going to become the next Supreme. I don't need to become the strongest if I can make everyone else weaker. Oh, there we go. The time has now come and I have strength. The stronger I get, the closer I am to getting him back. I have found out that my curse on Joey worked. The only thing is that because he is a fire witch, I did think he might be immune to fire damage and it turns out he is. So he does just occasionally burst into flames, but it doesn't actually do anything. Which was something I was expecting, but it's also a good thing to know. Now that I have all of these amazing altar and things around, I think we can get up to some mischief.